Hello and welcome to Fully Charged Plus. Uh, I'm here today with Daniel Hollingworth from OMI Intelligent EV Chargers. Daniel, thank you very much for coming along. You're uh, welcome. This is very, because I, I, I love what you've done with the, the OMI. I have seen the original one, which was a, just a cable, a Type 2 cable. But this is, a, is this a new version then, a, a wall-mounted version? Yes, yeah. So we, we started out with uh, cables as a quick introduction and initially we recognised in the market that there were lots of people that uh, had uh, installed what we call sort of dumb chargers, chargers with no advanced functionality apart from you plug in and it charges your car. Uh, so initially we launched a Type 2 to Type 2 product so people, it's like a cable replacement and then people could plug that in and then they got all the benefits of a of a smart charger and now what we've done is just gone a little step further and say well actually hey if you haven't got a charger install omi uh, kind of kind of from scratch so this is our this is our domestic wall charger wall charger unit and it looks really i mean because often the, the wall chargers i think are like sort of decoratively enormous when there's actually not that much in them i mean that and yours is stripped down to the absolute bare minimum which i really like i like the look of it yeah, I mean, this is the thing, it's, it's part of the sort of DNA of OMI from a manufacturing point of view is because we, we started out with a cable is you can't have a, a big clunky unit in line with a cable. So, yeah. uh, you know, a huge amount of effort was, was put into that, that what we call engine is sort of form factor is basically take, taking the sort of uh, the size out of the components and being really selective and, and sometimes paying a bit more for the components to get to get them small. Uh, so then in terms of this unit, it's quite it's quite a sleek looking unit and quite quite compact compared, compared with many. Uh, Can you explain how uh, the OMI charger works? Yeah, essentially, is, I, I think an easy way of looking at it is a bit like a central heating timer. So what you do is you have a, you have a timer functionality built into it, which says, is, oh, hey, I commute kind of Monday to Friday and on a weekend. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. So, hey, just fully charge the car. So uh, effectively, you set it up in that way. And then when you plug in, what OMI does is it wakes up and says, hey, you've told me that at, say, 7 a.m., I want my car to be at least 80% charged. And then what we do is we have a look at the energy system. We have a look what tariff you're connected to. We have a look whether the wind is going to be blowing, etc. And we move your charging around because you've told us when you need the car. And effectively, you've given us the flexibility to move your energy around. And that can save a huge amount of money and can also bring the carbon content of your charging uh, down by quite a lot too. Right. If you, you know, plug in and only wakes up and says, oh, hey, I'm going to start charging at 1 a.m. or whatever, and, you, and you've got other plans, then literally just reach into the app and you select max charging and then we'll just basically charge the car so as, as quick as possible. Ah, absolutely. So it's very easy, very easy to do that. And once you set it up, it basically it's auto, its automatic default position is to save you money or lower your carbon, whatever you set it to. Uh, but then you've got all those override override functions in there as well. Right. So presumably it really benefits people who've got a, 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 an energy supplier that supplies a very big variable tariff because that's that's kind of what you want with an electric car. Isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, one thing we see uh, very often is people have bought a car and they haven't thought about the energy supply, which is absolutely sort of you know fine. But um, and then they you know plump for the charger that's in the showroom or whatever you kind of come home and they haven't really thought about kind of what features they actually want in a charger so the main plea for us is effectively is you know do a little bit of research up front select a charger that's got the features you want is there's a huge benefit to saving to off off peak off peak charging is we're we're sort of integrated with all energy suppliers but but, but, but mainly with uh, you know our, our sort of preferred or, or, or recommended energy suppliers octopus and, and and either the go or agile tariff and with with that tariff you can you know you can really halve the cost of, of your, your electric miles and what about in uh, uh, the, the filling the battery full I mean because obviously you can set that in the car so you can set it so it only charges up to 80% or 90% or whatever can the, the only can't do that level of interaction with the vehicle ah can. So the key thing is, if you do that in the vehicle, it can be difficult to override. So the times that you really want a hundred percent charge, because you've got a big journey, you have to mess around with lots of, yeah. lots of sort of, you know, going through all the menus. You've got to get in your, the car, turn it on. Exactly. Yeah. This is a rainy day and all that. People, people don't really want to do that. So with, uh, we we haven't got the full park of, of electric vehicles out there, but where we can have access to the API. Uh, for that vehicle manufacturer, then we can get the state of state of charge. So we've we've got this set up with I'll no doubt I'll forget a load, but we've got you know Tesla, BMW, Nissan, uh, Renault, Mercedes. So we've got you know Jaguar. Uh, list goes on. Um, we're just doing Kia now. 
So we've we've got a lot of uh, a lot of access, and that and that's growing as these the, the kind of APIs from vehicle manufacturers come, and we're able to you know some reverse engineer them. We shall say then we can access that where customers give us their credentials, and then effectively you can say in the Omni app, I would like my car to be 80% charged, uh, and and we talk to the car and make sure it's at 80% charged, and, and then it, and then it stops. But then okay, so so say you've just bought your electric car and you want one of these. What does this cost to have? Or what does it cost? Yeah, so there's a there's a the OLEV grant, um, the home charge grant is still is still available, and that takes 350 pounds off. So, um, for a typical installation, you're looking at about uh, 500 pounds. So that's that's both the OMI unit, the installation, and the the grant is netted netted off that. Is usually it's around about 500 pounds. But then the advantages over a few years are enormous. I mean, that's why it's so hard to communicate that to people who've never driven an electric car. It's just how cheap it can be if you take a bit of care charging it. Indeed, yeah. I mean, when we first launched the product, we did some calculations, always great doing calculations from a spreadsheet because they're not necessarily, well, you're never quite sure how real world they are. And we kind of showed that, well, actually, realistic usage, if you do sort of 10,000 miles a year in a car, by being on a better tariff, you can save about three hundred pounds a year, coupled coupled with this with this unit. We've seen um, that now that has been validated by by the data. Now we've got seven thousand customers using our system. We can we can look at the data and see what people 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 are saving, and, and that's a typic, that's a typical typical saving really. So then the the app then is clearly a critical part of this. So what 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 have you? How does the app work? <laughs> Is it, is it easy to use for someone like me who's a bit of an idiot? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the easiest thing is to, is, 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 is to show you. So we, 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 have, we have the app. Um, this is now plugged in and this phone is linked to this. So you have a, a QR code on the side of it. So when you first get your charger, you go through the, the, the wizard to set up it and you, you scan the QR code on. And what that does is says, hey, this phone is now linked linked to that charger. Which is, that is a really good idea, rather than putting a long number or code in. in, in yeah. Indeed, yeah, a, a, absolutely. So then what we see here now is um, we've, we've plugged in, we're adding so many miles to it, um, and this is, uh, I've selected the Agile tariff for this, the Octopus Agile tariff, so we see now that it's circa two o'clock and it's going to start charging at, uh, looks, looks to be about 1am, 1, 1 and it's going to do its charging then. So if we were to look at the Agile tariff pricing from, from Octopus, you would see that the price is a, a cheaper so cheaper it would be at, at its point. lowest at that point yeah right. absolutely yeah um, so I quickly show the charge schedules is you set up the charge schedules um, and you say is oh Monday to Friday is uh, I commute um, I've got this this mileage and therefore I need this I need this charge and I typically leave the house at 7 a.m. Um, so you just set that up as a charge schedule and maybe you'll do one for the weekend, uh, depending on however you set. And you can set as many as you like and you can toggle them on and off and so on. And that's basically your, 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 your schedule. So then when you plug OMI in, it says, oh, you've plugged in, it's Tuesday night. Uh, your next schedule is Wednesday morning at 7 a.m. Uh, and you want the car 80% charged. And then what we'll do is we'll talk to the vehicle and we'll say, hey, you're already 50% charged, you've asked to be 80, and therefore we know that we have to put 30% in that battery, we know the size of your vehicle, uh, and therefore we can work out, we know how much energy you need then, and therefore so we can work out. you know how long out. you need to Yeah, this is right. it, and then we can move that charging around to the precise points which make it, make it cheaper for you, and if that's switching on at midnight, or 1 a.m., or 2 a.m., or, or sometimes even 8 p.m., depending on what the energy system's doing, then, then that's, that's what happens.